The devastation of having no power can really, really challenge people on many levels. Mobility is something to consider. Hi, welcome to Be Our Coolest and YouTube channel. I appreciate you being with us. This channel exists for one main reason. That is to help you and as many people as possible be as prepared as possible, body, mind, and soul. This is a responsibility that we have that God gives us to be ready to take care of those that he entrusts to our care, including ourselves. Today, we're gonna to talk about power. In any crisis, no matter what the situation is, power is going to be essential. Power in case you need to power your refrigerator, your freezer, medical devices, power lights, whatever it might be, heating units. There are all different areas where we have to consider the need for power. Now, the crisis that we talk about could come from a natural disaster to civil unrest, societal breakdown, complete power grid failure. Rolling blackouts, brownouts, as you've seen in California, for example, and other parts of the country and other parts of the world. This is a very real situation to consider. What happens if you don't have power? And for how long? By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and click the link in the description below to get a free download of the different devices, different battery operated solar rechargeable devices that we recommend and different uses for them. Many people, when the power goes out, they make a phone call to the local power company and they're told, well, it'll be on in a day or an hour or maybe a week. Well, just consider what if it's a few days or a week or a month or longer. The devastation of having no power can really, really challenge people on many levels. And the scenarios we can paint, the what ifs, are so numerous that it's really impossible in this short video to address them all. Now, there's a couple considerations we're gonna address in this video, just keep this short and sweet and to the point. Number one, a lot of people say, I'm gonna run out and get a generator. I think generators can be wonderful in the right setting. And if you have the right amount of fuel to power them and you don't have civil unrest where people want your generator. There are many historic cases where you've got a, a traumatic sort of situation happening with civil unrest, infrastructure has broken down. And someone who has a generator, the sound of the generator, that alone can make them a target. If gas stations are shut down for some reason and you don't have enough fuel to last the duration of the power outage, then what will you do? What's your backup plan? Now I've got before me here a simple backup plan. And I like this in some ways better than a generator, a gas powered generator, I should say. Now I know that gas powered generators can be big enough and have enough power to them, enough wattage to them to, to supply power to a whole house. Okay, if you're gonna do that, that's fine. But in most crises, it is probably a good idea to realize that we're gonna to have to make some concessions regarding our comfort level. And so the idea that we're gonna power the house like normal, especially when others don't have it, and again, if the crisis goes on a long time, some people are gonna see that you have full power to your house, again, you can become a bit of a target. That could be a tough situation. But something like this, a backup scenario, like a, a battery power station, I like this, it's a thousand watt. It's 22 pounds, all right? So it's not that heavy. It's easy to transport. You've got three outlets on the front there. It's very easy to manipulate, to carry. It's mobile enough that if I have to hop in the car and go somewhere with it, because I have to leave my primary area of shelter, I've got to bug out and go somewhere else, I can easily throw this in the car. I've got my solar panels to go with it, and I could be good to go. This is something you really want to consider. This is silent. I like these because they're silent. You can be very low key that way. That's important to consider as part of your what if situations. The solar panels come in various shapes and sizes. This particular one, it opens up like so. And of course on the back, you've got this that drops out back here. So I can flip this over like so, and I can prop it up. You get the nice right angle to the sun and everything can be good to go. In this pouch right here, this pouch opens up here. And if I open that pouch up, I pull that cord out. This is where we get the plug in that attaches to the battery station. And if I want to, I can daisy chain these together and I can add other solar panels to this and charge this up much faster. But again, having access to power for lights, for medical supplies, for whatever, to keep your refrigerator, your freezer going is critical. So along with things like battery station, and by the way, I should say these come in different sizes. I have other sizes as well as this here, smaller ones even, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, easy to transport. And they handle some smaller loads, but you actually have this silent partner, call it that, that allows you to keep hope. Look, hope is found when you've got a plan of action when you're being faced with a crisis. There's no question about it. Power 
brings hope. Energy, electricity brings hope. Being able to preserve your food brings hope. Having a simple backup like this brings hope. I'm also a big fan of flashlights that are, I like battery powered flashlights, but I also like the rechargeable battery powered ones. This is a 1500 lumen rechargeable battery flashlight. I like this one. I also go nowhere without my personal tactical flashlight. This also has a rechargeable battery inside of it. Now I have two of these, so I can always keep one battery charged full at all times. And when this battery drains, I can easily just pull out the other one and there you go, it's ready to handle whatever I need. Simple little plug-in right here, right there in the battery, plug this into a charger in the wall, and you can recharge that battery. It's a great setup. But again, this is the sort of thing we all need to consider. It's very easy to say, well, if there's a power grid uh, failure or lights go out in some way, I'm just gonna fire up that gas-powered generator. Okay, you might be good to go. But again, fuel consumption is something always to remember. Silence, being more discreet is also something to consider. Mobility is something to consider. Having backup like a, like, a, like a power station like this, a battery rechargeable power station that can be charged with the sun, solar is a great idea. Now again, there are various sizes. You have the smaller brick batteries as well, but to be able to have the, also the items like flashlights to be able to charge off of these batteries is critical. Communication devices, radios, these types of things also need to be considered with regards to their power source. Without power, we're very, very limited. I want to encourage you again to click the link in the description below. Get that free download of the different devices that we recommend that are battery powered, solar chargeable devices and the different uses for them. I want to thank you very much for being with us. Please, again, like, subscribe, share this video. We've got to help as many people as possible wake up to the reality of the need to be better prepared body, mind, and soul. God bless you and strengthen you in this fight. We'll see you again soon.